Emily, as you mentioned, we are live just right outside of Pottawatomie County Jail, and we heard unconfirmed reports of an active shooter situation here. I want to step out of the way to give you a live look at what we're seeing right now. We heard reports of one man, maybe in his 30s, with a gunshot wound in his neck. We're waiting for officials to confirm whether that person is an inmate or deputy within the jail right now. County Bluffs Police Department has the front portion entrance of the uh, jail, the road leading up into the jail that is blocked off and I want to show you why if I can just have Sean pan closer just zoom in closer to what appears to be a garage door some sort of entrance you can see there's a, a lot of damage right there and that could have been what tipped off um, led to the sequence of events of unfolding uh, again we are working to verify this information none of this has been verified by three news now this is all coming from scanner traffic with our team trying to bring you the very latest as far as what we're hearing right now but it looks Looks like, um, based on what we heard, that perhaps um, an inmate possibly might have stolen a transport van. And then not too far from this area, we are here just right near 16th and Nash, near 25th and Nash. There was a perimeter, pardon me, that was set up while we believe they were looking for the suspect or suspects. Uh, but then they had collapsed that area not too far. Um, from where we're standing at right now. But again, we are out here live in front of the Pottawatomie County Jail. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, heavy police presence. Investigators are scanning the area right now, trying to figure out what led up to the sequence of events that we're trying to uncover and learn right now. But stay with 3 News now as we bring you the very latest on air and online, as well as on social, our social media, Twitter handler and our Facebook page as well. But for now, reporting live in Council Bluffs, Shante Passmore, 3 News Now, Midday.